definitely pull the air box before you start it. Don't be like me. The instructions are blowing around. I mean, yeah, fair. <laughs> You stop recording so I don't have to edit this out, right? In the instructions, it does say short bursts. Yeah, I only read the putting on part, not the taking off part. <laughs> We're installing the Perrin, Perrin, however you want to say it. It's Perrin from everybody I've heard. Um, alternator pulley. This is supposed to help with reducing wear on the alternator belt also stop it from popping off because that's a notorious subaru issue that's what they say i have owned subarus that have had that happen too now i wouldn't know this is the first subaru i've owned but it's supposed to be a lighter pulley it looks nicer but it fits with the red and black theme so i went with the red it took like three months to get so we'll see if there's actually any benefit of doing it joe is reading the instructions for us because Parrot actually right? includes instructions, whereas everybody else I just guess and check. So Joe, step one. Step one, we got. Remove intake system from engine bay to provide better accessibility to the alternator pulley. Yeah, this I ain't step doing that. Well, very greatly you. depending on intake system installed. Uh, remove <laughs> OEM intake system. We're not doing that. All right, Next step, step two. Locate and remove two 10 millimeter bolts, but you're not doing that, so. Okay, well it says we need a 14 mil socket to get rid of the bolt. It does, literally. Yeah, so we're, we're going based Install off of the a 14 picture. millimeter wrench, not socket. Oh, well. Onto the automatic belt tensioner. This is my 14 millimeter ratcheting wrench. Should it's on a ratchet. Rotate enough to remove And it calls for a wrench. All right, fair enough. Joe, you put these back in the wrong spot. <laughs> At least I put them back. <laughs> Your sticker! It's under your foot. Sticker? <laughs> Looks like a sticker. Wow! If it actually is, it yeah! fucking is a sticker! Where'd these come from? <laughs> Locate and remove the two 10 millimeter bolts securing the plastic alternator belt cover on the right side of the engine. All right, so we jumped a step. If I knew how to read, I could grab a 10. Make sure it's unloosened, not tightened. It says you want to pull your air box out, but. And it's very cold, so I'm probably gonna drop a bolt. Everybody judge Chris for dropping bolts. Like that show, everybody hates Chris. <clears throat> Facts. Story of my life. If Chris crossed applesauce, what will he do to you? Yeah, you crossed applesauce, bro. <laughs> I don't trust you. <laughs> Yet you're trying to buy a car from me. All right, plastic cover from alternator of. removed. Now right. how do I pull the, what you mean, who's it off? The belt. Install a 14 millimeter wrench onto the automatic belt tensioner and rotate enough to remove serpentine belt from alternator, alternator which, pulley. Which one's the automatic tensioner? Dog, I don't know. Based on the picture, it is that this one. guy. And it says to rotate it towards the driver's side, so you have to have it on Titan. It doesn't say anything about driver's side. No, I'm going based off the picture. Oh yeah, this is definitely the tensioner. Let me grab the jack handle. <laughs> Don't you just have like a regular bar of some kind? Like, yeah, but that's a half inch, not a three eighths. That's fair. And I broke the adapter when I had to do wheel studs on this POS. Oh. Just like that, this is GR86 and I can run again. It's not the Z, it has to run. I have physical therapy in two days. <laughs> and we have to get coffee in the morning. Screw it, it's fine. All right. So grab yourself a cheater bar. I do have a, what's it called? Ow. Um, the belt tensioner tool somewhere in my toolbox. I'm just too lazy to look for it. <laughs> so you grab yourself a jack handle is a cheater bar. Yeah, this is like a solid mod to do. Okay. So Yes, it is easier to pull the air box. You definitely have more room. You should pull the air box, it says the instructions. If if you do it, it makes your life easier. I just kinda don't care. Chris is not known to make his life easier. <laughs> I own a three hundred ZX, so yeah. That's true. All right, next step. 
Giuseppe Install Strong Install a 14 millimeter wrench on the automatic belt tensioner. You already did that. All right, flipping over here. Pry cap off of alternator to expose 17 millimeter hex. Right here, this guy. Do, do I even have a 17 millimeter hex? We probably should have read the instructions and made sure I had the tools. Um, I have a pick. I have a hex kit. That's a 10 mil. <laughs> well, we might not be doing this today, boys. Stay tuned for part two. Might be sending Alex to do a parts run, <laughs> aka a tool run. Of course. Not a lot of daylight left. <laughs> well, why would we do this easy? It's cold. It's dork. Let's see if I can even... It's like every time Ow. I come over, we're doing this in the dark. Yeah, but at least today it's like 36 degrees instead of mid-10s. Yeah. <laughs> and you scratch the cover. Yeah, the cover's coming off. But it can go back on. Uh, well, it... This no, just in. No, it cannot. GR86, no cover. <laughs> cover delete mod. Ow. That's all this it's is. A big old bald eagle. Oh, like oh, what's on my go. shirt? And the only American vehicle I currently own is not here. Oh, almost had it. I mean, you got to substitute with my truck, so. Yeah, that's your truck. I don't own your truck. That is fair. And it's a Ford. I like Fuck you. Truck. No, thank you. Fords are gross. Chevy is life. As he's working on a Subaru Toyota. Toyobaru, and I'm a Nissan Z guy. Subaru. <laughs> Nissan Z guy. <laughs> But I do have a big block Chev tattoo on my uh, tricep. Why well, you start going to get this cover off? Here's a good sign that he owns a Chevy. Owns a Chevy. Chevy, that's a Ford. All this is not from the Ford. Yo, boy, strut. Hey, Alex. All this is not hey, Chris. <laughs> Your boy struggling. You want me to get it? Uh, kind of, but we'll, we'll let the people watch me struggle for a second so they can see what real life's like. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Turns out the cap rotates. Ah, you bastard. I wonder why. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, Alex. <laughs> All right, Alex, you're taking over. <laughs> I got that. Oh my God, that is so fucking cold. We got Alex out here getting this cover off because it's a little cold. We got to get that cold. POV. <laughs> and if we hit it with a lighter, it might work better. Yeah, it's more like the uh, top is suctioned in and then there's a lip, so I can't actually. Ooh, ooh, vidception. Vidception. I don't know how to use Alex's camera, so that's blurry. It's terrible. <laughs> to get the cap off I didn't record it I forgot in the center there's this little plastic tube we we're picking at it trying to get it that didn't work if you poke a hole in the center with a 90 degree pick and just put pressure on it like pulling it don't yeet it out or it's going to tear it you can kind of see in there that tore it open just put a lot of pressure on it like you're pulling it out and gradually increase the pressure and then this pops out we did end up having to pull the air box so we have enough room for an impact i didn't read the instructions all the way and i just told joe not to worry about it this is day two of trying to install it because we had to make a parts run to get a 17 millimeter hex drive and i had to jump start my batteries which is a short on youtube tiktok and uh, instagram reel so now I got to figure out how to break this loose and hold the pulley so it doesn't rotate if it just keeps spinning it. But allegedly, you just get an impact in there if you, if you can. Whoa. All right, so you do it slow so it doesn't pop back on. Ah, 
and now she's off. So don't just pull the trigger, bump it. In the instructions, it does say short bursts. Yeah, I only read the putting on part, not the taking off part. <laughs> Nick's pulling up. Yeah, his car is for sale. <laughs> Overnight parts from Japan or China? I have a small penis. All right, and we're back. Step three, using 24 millimeter socket, tighten nut onto the pulley using short bursts from the impact gun. So that's actually a really crucial part right there. Uh, until you see the nut stop spinning, one last time, in fact, nut on the pulley for roughly one second. It'd be tight enough to secure the pulley to the alternator. All right, so pulley, the nut included, 24 millimeter Pittsburgh, because Harbor Freight, dog. It's all known we can find local. So put it on, hand thread it first, for the love of God. Don't just let her rip. <laughs> if you play NASCAR, it's your car, not mine. Have I done it? Yes. Will I do it while doing YouTube? Probably. Probably. <laughs> All right. So it's on there, hand threaded. Dude, that looks so good. Now I just need all red pulleys <laughs> and tensioners. All right. So now you got to figure out how to get this in there. So one second first. Uh, once it's tight. So you have to yeah, get it to where little. the nut doesn't spin. A little, little short burst here. Because if you just let her eat. It's just gonna spin. All right, it has stopped spinning. So for one second, one Mississippi. I'm gonna do it a couple times just yeah, make sure. All right, should be good. And then of course you wanna make sure it's up top, just cause you know it looks better. <laughs> All right, so now. Where did we put the jack handle? Oh, right there. Probably not, <laughs> not wise to put it right by the windshield, but you know. Well, it's on the plastic still. Yeah, but it's also us. Yeah, fair enough. All right. So, yes, I have a breaker bar. Yes, I have adapters. I only have one adapter left, though, because I break them. So, get this boy out the way. Let me hold it. No, I got it, dude. I want to show the people that you can do this with one person. Step around you. So make sure you get it on the tensioner, onto there, and then bring it up onto this guy. Yes, it will be a little bit looser putting on than the stock one. And then just go through and make sure the belt's fully lined up with everything. I would um, just like to take a second to point out that I did put a pair in alternator pulley on my EJ2293 Subaru. And those tensioners are way harder to work with. This is actually a really sweet setup. Yeah, so this stupid easy. Um, to take the air box off, you're going to have one, two, and three 10 millimeters. Bust them up. Just, I disconnected it, even though I didn't have to, to be safe. I thought about pulling it off. Um, the air box, super easy to pull. And then to put it back on you'll just rotate it down get it inside the little coupler tighten it make sure that this is hooked up and it'll be straight easy from there i'm just going to put these tools down and do it real quick thank you joe for pulling that out you are the world's best reporter biggest help ever you, you genuinely are this reminds me of <laughs> me being a child working on my dad's car with him except i don't get yelled at for not holding the flashlight right yeah, John yells at me for not holding the flashlight, right? There's the HKS. I want to buy it just for testing. But there's a HKS carbon fiber piece that does a ram air right here. And it comes through into the air box. So you have dual ram air. And it's supposed to pick up, I think, 20 horsepower. There's no way. But I want to buy it for scientific purposes. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, and then this went inside of the air box, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. yeah, just like that. Yeah, so once you get it, it's a little difficult to put it back on and get it all perfectly lined up because this is pretty loose. It's just held in by like a little zert screw. <clears throat> um, I, I want to build like a block off plate for it. 
I wonder if Ark will ever make one. Ark? Dude, Ark has a kit to turn it from a 2.4 liter to a 2.5 liter. And I told John I want to buy it. <laughs> and he's like, why would you waste your money? Just throw a boost at it. True. And I was like, you need to build me a turbo kit first. But so throwing boost on a stock block Subaru never goes well. I feel like in Subaru history, also NAT builds seem to hold up better than just stock turbo builds, like turbo blocks. So if you re-ring it, that's really all you have to do to hold boost. Anyways, back to the video. So once those are in, it doesn't matter which way you go. Just make sure you get them in. Hit it with the ugga dugga. Yeah, you don't need an impact, but it works better. And then after that, we come over here to our handy dandy parts bin. And we grab the cover. And where's the second bolt? Oh. <laughs> grab both bolts. I'm uh, not really sure how a parent pulley causes cancer and reproductive harm. Oh, you know There's what we didn't do? What? We didn't weigh it. It's definitely lighter though. So I'm not gonna undo it, it to weigh it. Doesn't it say on the... It, it doesn't... I thought it said somewhere. Maybe not, that might be online. Does it say? Yeah, it does say that it weighs less. Oh, that's just the box limit. And you, you can physically feel the weight. Based on the weight, I'd say it's maybe three pounds. Three pounds is pretty high though. Like they're both light. The main thing is, is you don't have this extra portion here, which causes excess weight. Getting rid of this really is the weight savings. And then the grooves are slightly deeper on the pairing. And then it's also powder coated. So it looks good. <laughs> Very, fair enough. Uh, the deeper grooves are supposed to stop the belt from slipping as well as you know just making it to where the belt lasts a little bit longer which honest to god i did not know subaru had alternator issues this is the first thing subaru related that those I pulleys will pull right out <laughs> joe would know i've had a couple happen so anyways you you can put the cover back on and then to put the cover on i'm just going to show it it's the same way as you take it off it's the two tens Put it on super easy i'm honestly gonna run it without the covers all right start up with the pulley for recording and helping with the install thanks for watching guys as always make sure to like and subscribe let me know what you would like to see next we're trying to get better and do more content but honestly video editing's not my style so i just record what we're going to use and hope for the best if you got any questions about the install make sure to reach out to me on Instagram for Dankers Racing. I'm always happy to help. I'm pretty responsive with messages at the moment, but like I said, make sure you comment what you want to see next and we will see you on the next one.